We got a lot of these trans fuck boys and females out here don't know us. Major motherfucking fans like this cake chick that I'm hearing about. Money been missing, seeing niggas talking about she's posting up shit. You hear me? Utilizing the motherfucking militia. Again, the con the people. I never met this motherfucker. So I'm saying when we separate, I don't know what the fuck Jay was doing, especially with the other nigga that sat up there talking about he was second in motherfucking command, but he sat there and watched us at Stone Mountain. And how the fuck you second in command then, nigga? Saying ass niggas. But that's what the black folks do. They look for the opportunity to capitalize on their own fucking folks, fuck niggas. Putting on unks and dashikis and shit and think I'm supposed to give a fuck about these niggas. The last ones I trust is these niggas. Why the fuck we here now? And these conscious, super conscious online dumb motherfuckers. Fake marching ass guerrilla motherfuckers. Talking about, come on out here and help us train you nigga. On they platform? The fuck wrong with you? It's like Al Qaeda sitting here. Come on over here and let's train, motherfucker. You get air bomb, air strike. But that's what these niggas own. Because they somehow think it's just about social media. That's what they really think. They really believe that shit. It's all just social media, social, social imprint. Come on out. And that's where motherfucking, let's not train and get prepared. Like we sitting here watching them. The opposition. Let's not train to get prepared like they sitting here showing you what they doing. And here you all got these niggas here online up there in New York at the motherfucking park and Panther goddamn costumes talking about how they don't want to do no motherfucking push-ups. The fuck out the motherfucking way. Got the wrong motherfuckers up here in costume representing y'all niggas talking about a motherfucking movement anyway. The wrong motherfucking generals out here. That's the problem with these niggas. And that's why I in fact had to step in on, on some major shit. When the motherfucking sky was falling, that's when the militia came out. You hear me? So I look at this shit now and say to myself, man, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if they would ever catch on. So what the fuck we actually had going on? But when it's too late, and now they looking at it, it's too late. Yeah, look, but, but look around them. Who, who you got? You better know how to separate the two. Feel from this social imprint shit. That's what happened to the motherfucking movement. It went trending. Not televised. The movement went trending. And that's why you got motherfuckers like K, because they call them queen, black queens. It's your job to sit here and like these niggas and honor these niggas. You supposed to respect her. She's a black woman. Huh? BLM, seven motherfucking million in a mansion. Here she is setting up motherfucking accounts because she's a black queen. And these motherfuckers here sit here and allow that. They accept any motherfucking thing when you put the imprint on them. That's how they got it. That's how they got 20 motherfucking K from Ozone. 20 motherfucking bands. Like I told the white boy, I said, hey, you think Proud Boys would have fucked over Lil Kyle for 20 bands? <laughs> think about it. You think Proud Boys, huh? Three percenters, booze, whoever, would have fucked over Lil Dollar Roof for 20 bands? Hmm? Who do who do shit like that? These niggas. These niggas, the only one that do shit like that in their own modern day motherfucking tyranny. You think these Mexicans, hear me, will fuck over their own folks behind this Trump wall shit for 20 bands? Who do that? Only these niggas 
Every motherfucking platform is a problem talking about who scamming who for motherfucking money. Look at polite situation. Why Umar ain't got to school yet? It's the shit these niggas don't want to face, nigga. Online, living a motherfucking facade. Hollering black power unit. Ain't no motherfucking black power. Ain't no unity in this shit. Well, never none in this shit. It's only opportunity. Opportunity. That's all the fuck. That's all that's going on in this shit. Cowardism. Complacency. And opportunity. The strike bid. That's why they don't give a fuck who trolling, who watching. As long as you sub up. They following. Don't call it up to this black platform following. Now these motherfuckers competing about who can talk about what the fuck going on with y'all niggas the best and the most. Hit the like. Like, share, subscribe before. Now let's talk about it. See? That's how they all start out. Like every motherfucking Halloween flick, dark and stormy night. <laughs> Reality motherfucking horror show what these niggas in made that bed you gonna die in. That's my mindset. But yeah, like I was just talking to the comrade before, we need we need the right platform, man. I, that's that's why I don't like coming out. Uh, right right now, I don't know I don't know who to fuck with. To be honest with you, a lot of that shit I'm not on. You gotta go straight to it. I'm talking about straight to the source. That's what I'm on. So when it comes down to our comrades, when it comes down to revamping. Like I said before, I ain't even want to go to motherfucking Kentucky. I wanted to go to Indiana, where they at. That was my mindset. So they need to understand that. I'm not Jay. I'm not Jay. When it came down to them officers, Jay wasn't going to get them. We was going to get them. He was sending, us, he was sending the order. They don't get that. So if they ain't fully aware of this shit, don't line up here. That's all I'm... Don't line up here. That's why I leave that social media shit alone for right now. And I try to speak for the comrade and um, try to balance that shit out for both of them. Grandmaster J and Ota Wallace situation. That's a real life right there. You know what I'm saying? And uh, for the militia, we ain't gonna never let that shit die because one thing about it, without the militia, this shit gonna still be going on. They just killed the motherfucker in the goddamn, what they said, the subway? The homeless nigga, they just choked him out. You feel me? In, in fact, up and running or not, motherfuckers still dying out this bitch. So they better figure that part out. They better figure out which one of these motherfuckers is going to go straight to them. Like I said before, I don't knock no other regime, no, no other organization, but I ain't knocking on doors looking for no motherfucking body. Unless it's up. You feel me? When we coming forward, we coming forward. We're not playing with them. You feel me? We're going to the motherfucking sun downtown. We sticking around. We're going to hang out this bitch all night. We're going to put tents up out this bitch. That's the mindset these niggas got to be on. I said, cool. <laughs> these niggas don't They can't run with us. Tigers don't run with motherfucking lion. Pit bulls don't run with wolves. They can get from around me. Stay from around. Stay clear. This ain't for you. So I tell a lot of them niggas, don't come here. This ain't for you, bro. You feel me? I done seen these niggas. <laughs> Man. I be going through a whole nother situation with this shit here. I don't see these niggas fold. You feel me? I don't see the female stand up. Like I said before, when the tire got shot out, <laughs> the tire got shot out, nigga. It was only three of us. It was only three of us, nigga. We got video of this shit and all. I don't know who they. That's why they can't say Delta name. Any nigga online talking about Delta such that nigga, if he saying my name and he playing with me, nigga. You can't be serious. Can't be. Last nigga you'll play with. That's social media. That's one thing about Florida. That's all we live for. Let me catch you, nigga. Let me catch you. Live right here on social media. I wouldn't give a fuck a formation. None of that shit. Let me catch you, nigga. As soon as I see you, it's up. That's my mindset, and I'm willing to take whatever charge that come with it. That's all I tell them, don't play with me. Don't lose too much, motherfucker. Don't lose too much, we don't lose too much. You hear me? If you think I'm finna play with a nigga, I'm finna play with any organization, I won't give a fuck who they are. I won't give, 
I wouldn't give a fuck how many of these they throw up. I blow that bitch off. I blow this shit off, nigga. I knock your whole motherfucking head off, nigga. That's my mindset, though. You feel me? We have to be this way. It's time to clean your house. Judah and the Black Messiah, these niggas gotta go. I told Krista Muhammad, we must clean house. We must clean house in order to fix this shit. 10, 20 years, fuck that. We gotta go back to the 60s. If they would've cleaned house and let them niggas know that infiltration shit, we won't, we won't, we won't tolerate that. That, that, that black agent shit, we won't tolerate that. That's how we got here. That's why them niggas right now under these fake accounts like Miss Kate playing with the movement still. You hear me? That's why a nigga like Remy playing with the movement. You won't play with no feel shit, nigga. You'll play with the movement, with that social media shit, because you know niggas already out there and the shit is in the open. We lay low, let time go past, though. What they don't understand here when it come down to this, this, the lower section, this ain't the conscious community. That's what they don't get. They keep thinking, we the conscious community. No motherfucking conscious, we enlightened, aware of ourselves, aware of the science and all that. But this ain't the conscious motherfucking community. In fact, wasn't no mother. It say not fucking around. And it say not messing around. You hear me? That's what these niggas don't comprehend. And they still can't paste this shit together. What the, what the fuck going on? This bag situation that was on his head. How is that being swept up under the rug? Think about that. There was a 50,000 bag on Ozone here before this case. From who, where, what, how. Very simple. So when I look at legal teams and teams that's supposed to be behind this situation, I have to question that. Motherfucker, they settled Young Dolph case. YouTubers figured this shit out. Who killed Nipsey? All kinds of YouTubers. Man, you mean tell me you won't go out here and do a 5K run? And you don't see dudes like Buddy Boy I had to speak with the other day doing this type of shit? It was simple. Rules up to me, bitches wouldn't come out marching none of that tiki tour shit. Well, knock all that shit down. It, became, it was up to me, all that cone hat shit. Y'all might well put that shit up. Y'all might well donate them motherfuckers because you'll never wear them bitches out and about again. That's what these niggas should be on if you're a motherfucking militia. That's why they doing what they doing now because niggas ain't never break that chain yet. Niggas allow that shit. Hollering about motherfucking... Black Wall Street. Bitch ass niggas ain't got no motherfucking get back yet for Black Wall Street. You hear me? Ain't got no get back yet for motherfucking Martin. You feel me? Ain't got no get back yet. Talking that dumb shit. That's the type of shit I be talking about. We off that. You feel me? That's why field niggas gotta come out. That's why you got field niggas like the motherfucking late part of 66. That's why Jay had to come out here go get a bitch like O. Had to go get Def Con. Because he already knew the motherfuckers that was already out there couldn't get the job done, nigga. This going straight to him. This talking about going to David Duke house. <laughs> We're going to David Duke house, nigga. You talking about looking for who killed motherfucking Emmett? No, nigga. We're going to David house. Feel me? Going straight to David Duke house. All these motherfuckers talking about great, the, um, great Depression and all this shit. Replacement and all that. Yeah, nigga. We're going right to y'all community. Where the white boy came from in motherfucking Buffalo... That's what them niggas should have did. Because he drove way from over here two motherfucking miles away. So y'all niggas should have drove way to his community. And y'all should have raised hell. What they feared was the field niggas. In the all, they did not have no respect for Jay. You feel me? So that's the power, the power structure. 
You gotta have that reckless radical motherfucker. You can't just have Dr. Kings. You gotta have some Malcolms out this shit. You feel me? It's a whole different mindset when you got different organization that's coming forth willing to put down the sword amongst each other to come unite, to come together for motherfucking liberation. It's different, nigga. So you can't be playing with the soul. You can't be playing with no, you can't have a price on you. The fuck you gonna buy six, seven million dollar mansion that BLM shit? How many motherfucking Bugattis you gonna get, weak ass nigga? Then next year you gotta go con another motherfucker like Polite or motherfucking Pharaoh. You gotta come up with a new scheme to con a bitch to get you the new motherfucking Maybach. Fuck ass nigga while bitches still out here dying. Fuck them niggas, nigga. Like you catch them niggas, take that. That's what we do, we taking it. Them niggas ain't donating when we catch them, we taking it. I'm sorry to say it. When we catch them, we taking it, nigga. Tell them to come around that shit now. Black organization, my motherfucking ass. Who the fuck what organization it is? If these niggas ain't if these niggas ain't getting right, we catch them, we taking it. We're gonna set an example. We need a motherfucker like motherfucking Oath the Waters. We need a motherfucker like Cosmo. Galvin Long. We need motherfucking mindsets like Chris Dorn and nigga. We out here in this time, this, this day and age, wasting the motherfucking good men with these fuck niggas. Children out here dying, raping kids, all kind of shit, underground kind of shit going on. These niggas talking about, like, subscribe, let's talk about it. What the fuck y'all niggas talking about? That's my mindset. I really don't know about this social shit. Fuck that shit. You know what I mean? We won't, we won't give them too motherfucking much and we ain't got nothing out of it. You feel what I'm saying? I'm going to pay motherfucking talking about what? Talking about how, how we need to get the motherfucking money up for old situation? You feel me? Talking about how Jay knocked off? What, what are we talking about? Moving forward with who? These niggas don't want to unite. They don't want to unite. No, they don't fuck around no more, bro. None of these motherfuckers want to come to the round table to fix this shit. So what you asking me? All we got is what we got. That other shit what they own, these niggas ain't on that. Now, if black folks don't understand that shit, can't comprehend that, that's them. You'll see next year. Where we at now this year? Same place, right? Same boat, same boat. Next year, where we gonna be at? Same shit. How long it's been since we've been raising money? You know how much money, like, what what y'all just brought it up the other, y'all just brought the name up, motherfucker they were raising money for? They said two some two some million. You know how long we've been raising money for Ozone, bro? And this man got a nationwide cause that's why I call her Brianna Taylor mother. The fuck she doing sitting up here at the red table with Jada Pickett. Huh? Nobody ain't gonna say nothing about that. Jay locked up too. They got like fucked up. Not here. Alright. So I know the power behind this shit. They knew. You know? What we can't say is whose agenda was what. But I will say every single word Grandmaster J said about what they would do it's real I went through it with NFL every motherfucking single word about who not to fuck with he said turned out to be motherfucking true the same niggas you're just gonna address a lot of the wrong that was done we older people of in fact all eyes on Jay folks. More respect, um, an apology somewhat. Because we created that monster. We done that. A lot of these issues we created. And only we can fix it. And I'm talking about top tier. There's only two. And the other one is gone. So the only one. So therefore, the voice is not enough. 
You gotta lead by action. What they do know, they saw us already. You know what we're capable of doing, you know we'll do it, we can get the job done. But yet, we don't lost faith in the people. We don't lost faith in the movement, we don't lost faith in these regimes. NFAC is coalition. We are from a different regime, coalition. We got different black groups and organizations out here at neck with each other. Not getting along, beefing. We've been going through this shit so long. How? How? The closer you're going to get to in fact world social after that. All honor Malik, Black Panther Party, coming out assisting me. All honor Cub Party, Fred Hampton Jr. Infinite. The party came out. Form. The party. That's what niggas need to understand. In the end of the day, no matter what's going on, what you see on social media, this is what I do know. This is why I always humble myself. I don't say too much. The party came out for him. You hear me? So we got to stand on that shit. So I give him respect. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I don't want to be sitting up, up there talking. If I'm coming up here, sitting up here talking, then we should be raising something up. You feel me? For the comrade, whatever the case may be. We can do it like that. You know, as far as, it, as far as just sitting out there and just entertaining motherfuckers that we don't know and giving out information, it's, it's an open case still. That's not something I'm on. And that, ain't, that ain't something that I, I know Ozone wouldn't do that shit. You feel me? I know Jay wouldn't do that shit. So I'm not finna do that. You feel me? I be doing the same shit like the other fuck niggas. You know what I mean? So. Anytime we do come out, man, they just speaking speaking honor the character, you know what I mean? Try to fix what we um when we broken. You know what I'm saying? And not be trying to shade or slander nobody else, especially not when it comes down to impact. I'm off that. You know what I'm saying? Outsiders, that's a whole different thing. That's a whole different ball game. You know, but as far as um within the militia, within the black movement, I don't have no issues with nobody. You know what I mean? Fred Hampton Gun Club, Talib still cool, he's still one hundred. You know what I'm saying? He explained the situation with O, but I've been through that. You know what I'm saying? I've been through that. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, they grown men. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta something like that. I'm telling the little dude, man, you gotta be balanced. It's like, they don't get it, man. I understand they get it, but I understand they get it from, from, from my imprint. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm on that. You know what I mean? We, I'm going at them. I'm, I'm going at the opposition. I don't give a fuck who they are. I, I'm on them. And all the shit we put forth, the disrespect still. You'll never hear them come out and speak on General Delta. you never hear that. You're supposed to. I accept that. Because I know I did what I came to do. They all know. See? I'm already embedded in them forever. When you're hollering this shit. In fact, militia. It's General Delta. That I know. Otha Wallace. Hmm. If I could. Just really speak how I feel. It's hard for me to talk to him. That's about all I can say. <laughs> it's just hard for me to talk to him. So I come out and I speak for him. And I'm a rage. It's no rage. I am that. Everything they said was, and I accept it. All right.